Land in Uganda is a key productive resource from which millions of families, especially the rural poor, depend for their survival and sustenance of their livelihoods. Eighty percent of land in Uganda is under customary land tenure and is largely unregistered. Without registered land rights and with undocumented land boundaries, holders of such land lack security of tenure and are prone to losing their land rights to land grabbers and other boundary encroachers. Further still, customary land is governed by societal traditions which are patriarchal in nature. These greatly restrict and discriminate against women's ability to inherit, own, and make decisions on land. Ninety percent of rural women in Uganda work in the agriculture sector, producing eighty percent of the food crops and contributing to ninety percent of all labor for food production. However, women continue to till and toil on land that they do not own. They hold secondary land rights on customary land, which rights they risk losing in case of breakdown of their relationships with their male counterparts, either through death, divorce, or separation. Without secure land rights, women cannot sustain their agriculture production and livelihoods, increasing food insecurity and poverty. Padel district is among the war-torn areas in northern Uganda that suffered a civil conflict under the Lord's Resistance Army. This history further complicates the land tenure security of the region. Before the war, uh, there was no a lot of uh, land wrangles in the district local government. However, uh, when there's LRA war in northern Uganda, people moved into camps where some people yet in the camp started uh, stopping others from returning from their original homes where they were occupying before displacement, publicized by politicians, and people now started taking arms against, against each other, uh, denying others now to return uh, to the original lands where they were given as gift in those old days. Uh, then the, there's, there's also a question of uh, land boundaries. The elders who were, who, who were before who could guide the youth, they died during the ITP camps, and the youth were not able now to identify the boundary between them. Uganda's 2013 National Land Policy provides for the registration of customary land through the provision of certificates of customary ownership as a solution to the challenges associated with customary land. However, conventional land registration systems have not registered much success and have not benefited many because they are very complicated, expensive, and not accessible by many especially the poor, majority of whom are women. As Uganda envisions a transformed society through optimal use and management of land resources for a prosperous and industrialized economy, and in order to strengthen women's land rights and tenure security, it is critical to promote the uptake of pro-poor, fit-for-purpose and gender-responsive land tools and approaches in the formalization of customary land. In 2017, UN Habitat and GLTN, in partnership with UCOBAC, undertook a one-year pilot project to strengthen women's land rights and tenure security in Padel District. The pilot covered 22 villages in Pajule sub-county. The project integrated three land tools, including the social tenure domain model, 
land mediation tool, and gender evaluation criteria. SDMS, the process also integrated the land mediation tool. Alternative dispute resolution mechanisms are very effective and accessible, especially by the poor who cannot afford the costly and complicated formal justice systems. Through the project, area land committees and the traditional leaders were trained in providing effective mediation to conflicting parties. The gender evaluation criteria tool was employed to determine the extent to which men and women equally benefit from the land administration and land rights registration processes. It is important to incorporate strategic actions and recommendations to promote equal participation and equality of outcomes for men and women in land administration processes. Through the use of GLTN land tools, over 300 parcels have been mapped covering approximately 1,460 hectares of land. Over 1,139 persons, including 587 females and 551 males, have benefited from the process. A total of 15 land dispute cases were reported and a total of 14 were successfully resolved with written memorandum of understanding. Over 1,139 persons have had their land rights secured through acquisition of certificates of customary ownership. Uh, we have been with the Okoba in Pajule trying to see how to encourage people to register their land and have documentation, get the certificate so that this issue of conflict is minimized. Just a mere registration has caused now a lot of comfort with the community because people now know that I am only waiting for my certificate when it comes the boundary stresses from A to, to B. I want to appreciate once again you and the habitat, the Okobe, uh, European, and all those who have been there to make this uh, success. I thank you, and now I have the pleasure to hand over the 300 customer land titles to the owners. Thank you for listening for God and my country of Koyo. I hereby hand over the CCOs that we have prepared from the sub county and give you that honor to hand over to the beneficiaries. Thank you. Tira, 
la de güey, como fallo, güey. No.